Hey everybody, in this video we've got a hypothetical 2024 matchup between Gavin Newsom for the Democrats and Jim Justice for the Republicans. This is another one suggested to me in the comments, and I'm going to try to go quicker through this, but we've got two governors, California and West Virginia. Newsom is much more well known, he's from a much more significant state, he does have his liberal credentials. The downside is there's a lot of problems associated with California, and in places he is going to come off as an out-of-state coastal elite. Jim Justice in West Virginia. He's extremely wealthy, and in a sense, he's going to be out of touch in another direction. He also used to be a Democrat until recent years, but he's got the Donald Trump endorsement. He's going to try to take his brand from another state that has its own problems and try to take out Newsom. So with that said, let's try to fill out these states real quick and talk a little bit more about it at the end. I usually start in Alaska, and that is going to be over 10 is safe for Justice. Hawaii is safe for Newsom. The West Coast is going to stay safe for Newsom. Nevada is the first competitor competitive state. It does border Newsom's home state of California. Republicans are really hoping they could flip that red. I'm not sure how much appeal justice is going to have in this state, so I am going to keep it as a tilt for Newsom. Idaho and Utah, safe for justice. Down to the border in Arizona. I think justice would be able to do well enough in the state to carry it by a tilt margin. Montana, Wyoming, safe for justice. Colorado, just over 10, is safe for Newsom. New Mexico is likely for Newsom. North and South Dakota, safe for justice. Nebraska, at large, safe for justice. The second district, that's going to be leans for Newsom. Kansas, Oklahoma, safe for justice. Texas is going to stay over five, likely for justice. If we go up to Minnesota, that's going to be about five points, likely for Newsom. Iowa is going to be likely for justice. Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, safe for justice. Now we've got Wisconsin. And in the Rust Belt, outside the standard base of support, I don't know how much appeal Newsom is going to have here. He's going to try to win over you unions, justice is going to have some cultural appeal. And I think it largely comes down to the national environment. In the recent midterms, they elected both a Democrat and a Republican statewide, so it's anybody's guess, but I did give it to justice by a till margin. Illinois, safe for Newsom. Michigan, another tough call. Newsom going to bank on union support. And I think the lean of the state is going to carry him over the top. I'm not sure of the margin, but I put it as a tilt for Newsom. Indiana, safe for justice. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, safe for justice. Down to Florida, there's been rivalry here between Florida and California. I think Justice is going to get it by at least five points, likely for Justice. Next state, Georgia. This was a tough call. I think because Brian Kemp won re-election as governor by a comfortable margin, Jim Justice might be able to pull it off, and I do have it going to him by a tilt margin. South Carolina, safe for Justice. North Carolina, leans for Justice. Ohio, likely for Justice. Jim Justice is home state of West Virginia. Of course, that is going to be safe for him. Up to the corner, Maine at large. That is going to be likely for Newsom. First district safe for Newsom. The second district likely for justice. Now we've got New Hampshire. This is going to go to Newsom. The margin was kind of borderline lean likely. We'll say it's just under five, so leans for Newsom. Now the blue states, Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C., all safe for Newsom. Now how about Pennsylvania? This is another state that borders West Virginia, so I think justice is going to do well in the western part of the state especially. He's going to tap into that cultural appeal. That could put it over the top for him, but Philadelphia and the suburbs, they're probably going to be more focused on an issue like abortion, and they're going to gravitate toward Newsom. It's close, but I do have it as a tilt for Newsom. The last state is Virginia. That's going to be over five, likely for Newsom. The final total is 272 for Jim Justice, 266 for Gavin Newsom. So in this matchup, Jim Justice actually comes out very narrowly on top. Prior to filling out the map, I thought Newsom would probably win it, but after going through the states, looks like he comes up short. But there's a lot of states at tilt margins that could easily go in the other direction. So like most of these, this is a tough hypothetical, largely dependent on the national environment as well as the running mate and the key issues at the time. Both of these guys could either self-fund or tap into a lot of the resources from the establishment. They're both capable of winning it. They're both technically wealthy and elites. Newsom, I think, is going to have just a little bit more trouble trying to blend in as a blue-collar worker. Justice is not going to do great at it, but culturally, I think he's going to be a little bit better fit in some of the Rust Belt states in the Midwest. Something else Justice might have to deal with is his accent being off-putting for certain voters in certain states. That's probably not fair, but it's something to consider. And as far as charisma, Newsom might have the advantage there. And we know Newsom is going to go hard on abortion. He's got a few economic positions I'm sure working-class voters would appreciate, but he's got a long track record, he's going to have other things that those same voters are not going to be a fan of. So you could go on about this endlessly. I tried to get some fresh research going into this video before I filled out the map, but there's a lot of different ways you could take this. This is what I came up 
with right now. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this matchup? Do you think Justice actually would come out with a win or is he no match for Newsom? Which states would you change? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.